so we're going to cook some beef short ribs in the Instant Pot. See how that turns out. Normally I braise these for two and a half, three hours in the oven. So we thought we'd try it in the uh, Instant Pot today. So first thing we're going to start off with just uh, chopping up a couple of carrots into a small dice that will brown off and then will be a part of the sauce. We're just making little batons. This really is just to add flavor to the cooking liquor more than anything. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to serve the beef short ribs with polenta after they're done. Chop up one onion here. Oh, big Saute as high as it'll go. Get some garlic cloves. Dust them with a little bit of flour. I'm gonna get us some oil in the pot here. A little oil and butter. Brown these off. A couple tablespoons of butter. Salt and pepper them and then flour them. And get them out of their package. I'm just gonna lightly pat these dry. You don't need to wash them or anything. A little salt and pepper on our oil is getting hot. Dust them in a little flour and then brown them up. Alright. Just roll them around in some flour. This helps thicken the sauce and then just knock off the excess flour. Hopefully this browns up nice. So we're just going to brown these. See how well we can get them browned in this instant pot. We're looking for a little bit darker color than that. I don't know how, how much we'll be able to get in this instant pot, but we'll see. We'll get them as brown as we can. Alright, well we got all our beef short ribs. Now we're going to saute off the uh, onions and carrot and then we'll put our garlic in tomato paste and then build the sauce up and we're going to pressure cook in. I took some of the fat out. Soften these up a little bit, cook them up. A few cloves of garlic. We'll cook that for a couple of minutes, and then put our tomato paste in, which will give a lot of nice heat. Body, you want to cook the tomato paste off. We're going to cook the garlic for a couple of minutes. Now we're going to make a little place for our tomato paste. 
Maybe a good helping tablespoon. We're just going to put a little wine in here to start with. Just to deglaze the bottom of it. Just to deglaze the bottom of the pot a little bit. But we want to cook the wine off. Okay. That's 500 mils of wine. So now we're going to let this cook and cook the, uh, the alcohol off a little bit. We're going to put some thyme in it. And we can fish those stems out. Oh, about a teaspoon of dried thyme. Fresh it up a little bit, drop it in. We're going to put just a dash of Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce in there, just a little bit. Just kind of round the flavor out. Maybe half a teaspoon. And we're going to put some demi glaze in it. This will just make the sauce richer. A little demi glaze. Give some more rich beef meaty flavor to the sauce when it's done. We've been letting this wine bubble away for about five minutes. Make sure we get as much of that uh, alcohol burned off. It smells good. Just finish it up with some bone broth, beef bone broth. About eight ounces, eight and a quarter ounce. Demi glaze melted away. Now we're ready to put the ribs back in. They're not all going to go under the liquid, which is fine. I'm just going to pressure cook. So just like that. Tuck them in. Put it on seal. We're going to set it on manual and then set our time to 57 minutes and then we're going to do a slow natural release and that should be it. Did, we cooked them for 57 minutes and did a natural release. Oh my gosh. Oh, bone fell off. That's alright. Bones will fall off of them. So I know this is ready. Okay, so that's beef short ribs with uh, polenta. A goat cheese polenta. Thank you.